here at the Makeup Room India by, I think I need to say, legendary Asha Harira. Look at some you, Asha. Um, it's great so to see good you. to see you again. And I know. Thank you for that uh, introduction. So tell me a little bit about how you started. So obviously we're approaching a new decade. Yes. I can't believe that yes. this decade has gone like this. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and we met at Makeup Week yes. 2019 in March Correct. of this year. And of course, Makeup Week 2020 is around the corner yes. um, in March in Dubai, at, in Mumbai, mm -hmm. uh, 23rd and 24th at St. Regis. Yes. So obviously you're going to be there. Yes. Of course. Um, what would you say is the trend to watch out for or what's going to be the next thing that artists are, are going to push for for 2020? With people from all communities and all, uh, you know, so many different countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I really wanted to do this because uh, my mom was the inspiration to be, you know, uh, to be wanting to be the best that you can be for yourself first and for others. And then later on, I also got to learn that, you know, that also plays a very important part in self-esteem and, and freedom and all sorts of things. So I made up my mind and I said, you know what? I want to do. And so when did you end up in India? When did you come to India? As a matter of fact, I was uh, offered a brilliant, brilliant, uh, I think, uh, offer from New York. Okay. Okay, from someone very, very special. And I said, I, I need to go there because that's the mm -hmm. hub of fashion in New York. Yeah, but I decided against it because my husband, sorry, was the only son of his mother. You know, and uh, she says, I don't want him away. And um, so, love made you decision. I said, Okay, yeah. So, I stayed back, however, however, um, I run a chain of salons called Beyond the Fringe, and uh, you know, we are a very interesting uh, group of partners because we have Chinese people, we have some Australians, we have, uh, I'm the Indian one. And uh, we had planned to open something in India because I knew that India was going to be the great fashion place eventually. Has it changed the viewpoint of the profession from, um, from being seen as quite a low profession? Yes. Do you think it's changed for the better? Yes, I definitely think it has changed for the better because um, I think whenever you look at any country that has really evolved at, or has a high per capita income, mm -hmm. you will find that their beauty industry is highly evolved. Yeah. Because it's the only industry that needs chemists, that needs marketing professionals, that needs artists, that needs formulations, all of those things, you know. And uh, India too has arrived because now you will see a lot of business class people investing in salons, investing in the beauty business, and uh, therefore that uh, shift mm -hmm. has happened. However, okay, this is also an industry which needs everybody from the housekeeping level to the big shot who will be the CEO or the you know owner, and therefore within the industry you still have too much of a segregation. Interesting. Okay. So, um, and we need to blur those lines. Okay. And therefore, I think the education needed to do that is, is I think, really, really the, uh, the need gap. Absolutely. How did you get involved with the Makeup Room India? Okay, so we had a brand uh, called AHA that's, uh, it's, it just turned out to be AHA because I thought that uh, I love that word because I feel that you know when you realize something or suddenly you come across an idea which appeals to you or it makes sense and you know the word that comes from the inside is always aha aha yeah of course right yeah so okay. I said to my husband I said we have to keep it aha so that our line says have you experienced the aha moment in your career we met at Makeup Week yes. 2019 in March of this year. 
and of course Makeup Week 2020 is around the corner yes. um, in March in Dubai, at, in Mumbai, mm. uh, 23rd and 24th, so we just, yes. so obviously you're going to be there. Yes. So obviously we're approaching a new decade. Yes. I can't believe that yes. this decade has gone like this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and we met at Makeup Week yes. 2019 in March Correct. this year. And of course, Makeup Week 2020 is around the corner yes. um, in March in Dubai, at, in Mumbai, mm. uh, 23rd and 24th, so we just, yes. so obviously you're going to be there. Yes. Of course. Um, what would you say is the trend to watch out for, or what's going to be the next thing that artists are, are going to push for 2020? I think that all artists, particularly, are going to be pushing for very natural beauty mm. with that hint of because you could be absolutely nude and look so beautiful and sport just one geometric yeah. blue line. And that's enough. That's so a statement. It's all about the accents. It's, yeah, I, I, I think it's going to be, you know, Picasso coming to life on a beautiful uh, canvas which is just so natural but at the same time i think we are going to be uh, celebrating individuality and we are going to allow a lot more joker elements yes i think you know and that's going to be very exciting both for fashion and commercial well i can't wait to see that I can't wait to see you and make it with 2020 in <laughs> Mumbai, it's at the St. Regis Hotel. Yes. So, and we will see you there as well, the 23rd, 24th of March, in Mumbai at the St. Regis Hotel. And, hot off the press, we're going to have Make It Week 2020 in Delhi as well. Oh, wow. Yeah, Fantastic. 10th and the 11th of August. So, pop that in your diary and we'll give you more details.